Why? Okay, um. Iron Man, Captain America, Hulk. Okay. Iron Man, I mean, Iron Man, Hulk. And we Captain are America, here. Thor. Yeah, it's Pop and Peep. Stuff Lush and Sunway Seven here today. At oh, my last day of school currently. With one of my friends, Kevin. Say hi. Hi. Yeah, he's one of my friends. And today I am here for a video of my top 30 songs by My Chemical Romance. Now this band is just amazing. I couldn't just choose between 10 to even 25. I had to do a full 30. Because this band is seriously amazing. And starting out at number 30, we have a song from... Well, admittedly, the worst MCR album, but that album is still amazing, which is I Brought You My Bullets, You Brought Me Your Love, and this song is Honey, This Mirror Isn't Big Enough for the Two of Us, which is really oh, just I, a I great song. Left. Fast pace, along with explosive and oh, high hey, energy, I didn't know you're here. make you for a phenomenal song oh, okay. yet again. And... 29. The bell is ringing. It's all, to the uh, end. The bell is on 1109. To the end is more of the same of Honey This Mirror isn't big enough for the two of us, but it's honestly just done better in my opinion. With the vocal performances being absolutely astounding compared to just good and the fluctuation from time to time being done brilliantly 28 house of wolves okay this may upset a few people but i'm not too huge a fan of house of wolves yeah you can have some you can have some if you want some house of wolves of course is still a brilliant song but uh i just don't like it as well as anything else on the black parade but it, like always, is fast-paced, high energy, and there is so much angry passion we feel put in from Gerard's performance that it makes us feel like we are in the position that the patient is in, in this story of death. 27, Hang em High. The beginning is so subverting when it comes to my expectations. Because it's a mix of Western kind of techno in some way and uh, heavy metal, so all at once. And then it really just hits you with an explosion that brings you into yet another amazing vocal performance Ooh. that has so much to offer when it comes to every single little thing. And even though the lyrics Charlie, don't make help. sense to me, they're saying with so much it's passion so that you feel like there. they make sense, even if they really don't to you. There's a favorite over there. 26. Don't Save don't yourself. It. I'll hold them back. Now, I'm going to say hell, hell. Mm -hmm. Danger Days it was right kind there. of split on amongst the rest of the community. Some people think it's good. Some people think it's bad. I think it's underrated, but it's not the best. It, um, for me at least, it. isn't even in the this top three of the five this MCR this albums. This but that's there. not to say it's the not good. Four. I really do have a love for Danger Days. And no, it's rain, not just because the first four it. songs. Enroll in the kitchen for. And Save Yourself, I'll Hold Them Back is a brilliant example of why one concept can work so well for an album. Hey, Even if reading? this wasn't a closing song or an opening song, I can definitely tell how much passion was put into this. Oh, uh, no, my, you're good. It's gone. 25. You're you good. You know what they do to guys like us in prison. Now that title alone just sets you up for the terror that'll be talked about. Even if you don't know it's terror yet, at the end, if you know the lyrics and hear them properly, you will know that it is related to a lot of the dark stuff that happens in prison, like the don't drop the soap jokes turn into. Okay, now that's sort of the top 25, which is where it really gets good.
So let's move on. Number 24. Give him hell, kid. Honestly, give him hell, kid is just... Bro, oh, wait. Okay, well, didn't put Disenchanted. Well, I don't really think Disenchanted is too good. I actually think it's weaker than House of Wolves. But anyways, give him hell, kid. Just start with an explosion instead of needing to pull you into it and it continuously tugs at you every time you feel like you're out of the music you just get pulled back in by something even though I don't know what it is the fast pace angry passion high energy is something I just love to see from music and this is some of the reason why Ooh, my I hand is going. do what love I missed? Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge. Keep reading. Number 23. Vampires will never hurt you. Vampires this was, never hurt you? Yeah, that's an MCR song. The first song made by My Chemical Romance. And it was definitely setting some expectations for their future. Now this is my personal favorite from uh, I Brought You My Bullets, You Brought Me Your Love. And the song, it is just absolutely psychotic, and I love it. Barely any MCR songs, and songs in general, are going to go this psychotic, which is why you see some things in the top ten, for example, that go psychotic that I really love. Number 22. 22. The World is Ugly. Now, this song. I got 88, the picture. Uh, I want to cry from every time I hear this song, even though I'm not able to. I got 88, picture. Because of it really is just a heartfelt song, and you feel like Gerard is singing to either his child or his wife. Gotcha. Even though I believe at that time he didn't have his child or his wife. Ding, ding, and ding, 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 it just sets everything up so well. And executes every little thing from the rhythm to the lyrics beautifully. Number 21, Sing. Now I have some problems with this song. Aside from the generic lyrics, which are the only real problem I have with the song in general, it gets way too much credit. Watch Mojo put it top 5 on their top 10 MCR songs, and no, it, I wouldn't even say it's top 20, <laughs> even though it is top 30, as you can see here. And this song really is just, it makes you feel better when you're bad. It can even improve your health, I guess, in a way. And it's a beautiful showcase of what music can do for you. Number 20, Cancer. Oh boy. This is another example that you don't need to be explosive to make a song work. Cancer is sad, slow, and really takes you through the life of the patient as he slowly recognizes how he has faded away and all the things that he's regretted doing. It's really emotional <laughs> and beautiful. Number 19, I Don't Love You. Nearly the same thing as Cancer. Aside from this time, it is, I believe, the patient uh, probably breaking up with who's his girlfriend at that time because in Cancer, he even said, know that I will never marry. And... Cancer and I Don't Love You are on the same album that have the same story. So, Ooh, I'm guessing close. I Don't Love You was kind of a breakup before some sort of wedding probably between the patient who was dying at the time and his current girlfriend. And it's executed brilliantly. The lyrics are slow, sad, and really pull you in. You can see how angry... Uh, he uh, you can see how angry the patient is for how everything has happened and how he wishes everything would have gone a different way 
Man, what is work? Number, Loading. Number 18. Loading. Planetary. Up. Or Planet some up. people say, go. And, honestly, what, what do I say about this song that hasn't already been said? I mean, it's just raw, fast-paced, high-energy music that continues throughout the whole song, except when you need a breather, which is when it slows okay, down and lets today. you have a while to take in everything. Guess what? I'm not here today, Mrs. Golly. 17, Blood. Now, I know this song isn't really that good, but Dang, you I still to, love boy? And uh, I... I'm just asking, what you to do? I kind of made a decision of oh, combining okay, cool. how I love this song and uh, the actual quality of it, which puts it at number 17. I mean, I just love this sarcastic tone in Gerard's voice when talking about an actual serious problem that has been going on. Because Big remember, green. this is a hidden track. It doesn't Welcome go along the with the timeline of uh, you know, the Black Parade about the patient. And I just love everything about this song. But Jeez, I know, man. Even I can admit, it's not great. Number 16, Bulletproof Heart. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, then, um, if you see me floating in the air, that means gravity don't mean too much for me. Uh, Oh god. Well, oh god. Well, Bulletproof yeah, Heart is a story about are two, want to say again or not? about a couple in love so running hey, away so they can live out their own life without judgment from others. I know, I know. And I'm just, the lyrics I, don't make it seem like that at all. And it's really just happy at ain't no Facebook, just every single point. Snapchat. It makes me even feel good the entire way through. And that is something brilliant. Yeah, Boy division. That, that shit. Now you want to talk about having... Crushes. You want to talk about having an explosive beginning. Boy division is where you want it. Before you hear any of the instrumental, you can hear the first few words. And the chorus, well, it's a bit confusing to me. Way out nowhere, take me out there far away and save me from my self-destruction. Hopeless for you, sing a song for California. It doesn't really make too much sense to me, but even though it makes no sense, the music just resonates, and I feel so much passion when I hear it, when it's supposed to be the passion. Number 14, the end. Come on and come all to this tragic fair that is my horrible channel with terrible quality videos that I'm really trying to fix because I want to do something for my subscribers. But sadly enough, I can't even edit. But legitimately, the end is yet another case of you don't need to be explosive to be good. This starts out slow but slowly progresses its way into a huge explosion that keeps going on. And, honestly, that build-up is what I kind of love about this, because it really sends the rest of the Black Parade up, because the end was the build-up of what would end up becoming the huge Dang, explosion in nothing. every single song that makes we it, well, and everything being and so explosive kitchen. just makes Her it kitchen. hit we even harder. And the end started... The best MCR album and a brilliant. What do I say? Uh huh. Well, I don't really know what words I use to describe it, but it started at the Black Parade, of course, and it also set the set the mood. That's what I'm looking for. It really set the mood for the entire album really well. But there are songs that get it better. Number 13, Dead. This is the song that directly follows up the end, and it automatically starts with Dang, some this dude crazy lyrics in the, in the, that in the vacuum. at the fir on the first listen you don't even know what they mean. Dang, what are you doing? After a few more listens, you can definitely tell, and 
Dang, what's she doing over there, it's man? It's mainly in the dark everything in the after bar. the first time the chorus is played that really makes the song amazing. I mean, dead. Bravo. That's all I have okay, to say. Okay, thingy. Number twelve. This is how I disappear. Okay, okay. Hey, guess what? Really you're on my feelings, kids of four. And the chorus resonates so much with anyone who's ever gone through a breakup, and I want to know because I've always been single my entire life, but I can yeah, still yeah, feel the, the four, difficulty boy. of people I know who why doing have been four, going through cancer same. or some um, life-stealing tragedy yeah. that separates you from your loved one and or if you broke up with someone and you really actually cared so much about them to the point where you felt this low. Number 11, teenagers. Number 11, your crush. Now, I don't care about what you guys say. If teenagers is in the top 10 according to you, it's in the top yeah, 10 Yeah, I don't care. Wait, I don't know why you're here. But this is my list. No, now you, you need to understand that the there floor. are people other than you that have an opinion, <laughs> huh? and no. nobody's opinions are facts. They don't, they don't when it comes to criticisms, I don't know why honestly, they, they saying today. something is factual when it comes to criticisms are really just a, pen, a culmination of Ooh, opinions. You. And... Teenagers is actually just I know a brilliant yeah. song that slowly blows itself up and builds up to this huge, coal, well, this huge line of explosions that pound you, yeah, boy. that pound Why in your heart every it, single time. That your girl Number Jimmy. ten. I know. This is how you do no, a mix of. Cheating. This song is how you do a mix of calm and explosive. Yeah, yeah, go away, you, um, at the cats. same time. And sleep. What do I say about this song? Everything from the lyrics to the instrumental to Gerard screaming, wake up when you hear the instrumental playing before the instrumental is all you can hear and the song tunes out. Everything is just so amazing through it all. How could you cry for me? Because I don't feel bad about it. Number nine, Mama. If you want to talk about psychotic music, Mama is one of the best MCR songs mainly because the crazy psychotic tone and honestly it's really surprising that this high wasn't even the best in the black parade not even let's see one two three not even top three in the black parade in my opinion even though it is top five in the black parade but Mama is really just a psychotic song that really just makes you feel the terror that anyone else who has actually experienced this may feel about war and loss, just like one of the other things that will be coming up on the list. Hey, nah, nah, nah. Okay, Na 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 is by far the best opener to any MCR album. Yeah, you can have some more. No, they're still mine, but I'll let you have some more. Na 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 is fast-paced, high energy throughout the whole thing, and it's just a joy to listen to, even if the lyrics may be generic, and even if Dr. Death Defying doesn't really serve too huge a point, and uh, Danger Days as a whole, it is still just a joy to listen to, and that's all I have to say about why it's top 10. Number 7, Famous Last Words. Now I know that I can't make you stay on my channel. I don't care where your heart is, but maybe the song does. 
because I don't know, I don't know where Skyler this is. is the best ender to oh, yeah, any Skyler. MCR album ever made. And I'm sure that nearly no one will argue otherwise. Because, oh my god. Yeah, Famous oh my last god. words is amazing from the beginning to the end. And it talks about how, how the patient would not be afraid to keep going if he had to. And how all this has been torture, but it's been beautiful at the same time. And honestly, it's really hard to explain that to an audience with or without musical lyrics. And this song just does it brilliantly. Number six, The Sharpest Lives. Give me a shot to remember so I can uh, not remember all my horrible content. Anyways, The Sharpest Lives is yet again another fast-paced, high-energy song with many explosions. And while it may not be as psychotic as Mama, you can definitely hear the psychotic lyrics, but toned down to where they're not kind of slightly overdone which is why mama only got nine while as the sharpest lives got six and just a few lines are what kind of puts this song at well oh, above on sleep mama and na 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 oh yeah bro. also famous last words it's above well the, these lines make no that sense to me, but it's just such a joy to listen to for some reason. Juliet loves the beat and the lust of commands. Drop a dagger and lather the blood on your hands, or me out. That just sounds... I don't know what it sounds like, really, even though I've listened to the song plenty of times, but it definitely is amazing. And then, uh, number five, thank you for the venom. As long as I still have some left. Thank you for the venom. Is yet again an amazing song. With continuous beats. And yet again, psychotic lyrics. But this time, they make sense. Because uh, this guy who has been resurrected to bring his wife back. Has... Well, anyways, thank you for the venom. I don't know. Thank you for the venom is just, it's about a guy carrying a heavy burden from all the things that he has to do to bring his wife back in the storyline of Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge, which is honestly really, it's psychotic, but it's some sort of beauty nice. as well. It's, the dress. Nice. Thank you for the venom. It's psychotic beauty that just puts everything into amazing perspective and lets you perfectly understand it, even with the somewhat jumbled up lyrics. Number four. Now, number six and number five, I was so close to tying. And I was also extremely close to tying number three, four, and two all in one, but I decided not to. But the ghost of you, where do I start? Actually, I think I'm going to start with the extremely calming vocal performance by Gerard Way that does not sound like it's psychotic at all and makes you understand every word brilliantly <laughs> with what? the. Uh, what? Change just like hiding me. And with the background of all this and the music video, it just makes the song even better because you can feel everything even more, especially one in the video, Mikey dies, even though we get into real life, but it just makes you feel the pain and anguish when you see Gerard's face after that happens. And everything about the song is absolutely brilliant. Uh, how many are left? You can have a few more, but not too many. Yeah, she said not too many. I need he. Three. Welcome to the Black Parade. How could I not put this in the top three? 
it is by far the most well-known and, uh, well, most well-known MCR song, and it's the most credited for making them what they are. Everything in this song makes so much sense and fits so well together, and I don't even really need to go into why it's good to make you understand why. But it's still well, I mean, <laughs> this song talks about carrying on a legacy even after someone dies and telling everything, continuing <laughs> everything, no matter what happens, that he won't let his memory fade away and he won't let others' memories of him fade away. It's just brilliant. Number two. Helena, how could you not put this on the top for you either? Helena is a hard-hitting song that, Hard song that hits even harder as you realize what it's about, which is Mikey and Gerard Way's grandmother, Helena Way, who died in a car crash, which you can definitely tell by the lyrics. <laughs> what? Can you hear me? Are you near me? Can we pretend to leave and then we'll meet again when both our cars collide? It is just a sad, psychotic, but beautiful, brilliant song that does everything right. There is nothing wrong with this song. Hey, I know that and song. I don't know where did that song came out. Helena is like just one of the best songs I've ever oh, heard. Hearts? Yes. But the wait, best wait, song wait, 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 I've wait, ever wait, heard wait, wait, is number yeah. one, The Light Behind Your Eyes. Now, this is my favorite song for many reasons. The main is that it correlates with me personally on a deep level, and it's absolutely beautiful. Every single thing about this song I find amazing, especially the lyrics, I mean... Wow. Gerard's performance as well. You can definitely feel how much this means to him without needing to know what it's about, which I've heard is about a girl who attempted suicide and her mother met Gerard at a Comic-Con. And, and, yeah. And yeah. then Gerard told her, well, told the girl who attempted suicide never to hurt herself again and that he'd see her make a song for her. And that's exactly what he did. And... The song ended up being, in my opinion, by far the best performance from MCR ever. With lyric, well, mm -hmm. vocal performance makes it sound exactly like Gerard is kind of crying, but at the same time trying to hold back all the tears that he feels from all this anguish and pain going on. And... It is beautiful. The lyrics just touch my heart and make me feel that much emotion. The Light Behind Your Eyes is my current favorite song of all time. And at least for a while, I don't think anything will ever change that. Anyways, guys, this has been Typhlosion787, and I'm out of the house. Bye. Kelly, I'm kidding. Bye.